Wow. Ollie Williams is having a spot of bother with his neighbouring gun, who wow. keeps dropping partridges at his feet. Worse still, that neighbouring gun is his father. Dad, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, Dad. <laughs> the pair are on the legendary Aiken Gorlan Moninut driven partridge sheet on the east coast of Scotland, just a short hop from Edinburgh. I'm very excited to be here today. We're Aikengol uh, Moyanut, Moniut, I think it's pronounced. It's a very Scottish name. Um, but yeah, I've seen amazing things about this shoot over the last three years uh, since uh, John's been running it. Uh, it still feels very strange, September the 2nd, to be getting suited and booted. But yeah, this is obviously on the partridges today. Um, yeah, very excited. We're here uh, this bright and early this morning. I uh, drove up from Cornwall yesterday. I've only shot on a a few what I call exclusively partridge days, so um, it's, it's nice to, to be here uh, actively avoiding the pheasants, obviously which don't come in for a, for a work month, basically a month. Um, but uh, by all accounts, uh, John said he's had a very, very good year so far, and um, other than the fact that the Can-Ams broke down this morning and stuck in a woodland somewhere overheating, we're, uh, yeah, we're raring to go, so very excited. That's a little more like good. It. Yeah. There you go, here they come, here they come. I'm coming straight at me, is it going to do something? Yeah. Right through the side. It just pushes up with you. Yeah. So I'm shooting a Piotti side-by-side, -side, which is sort of my, my go-to gun I've had for years, um, and I'm using uh, Ely 32-gram uh, fives. So um, they are, uh, you know, I've, I've used them for several years now to, to give them a test under these very testing partridges. Don't miss, Dad. Couldn't possibly use the sun as an excuse, but as you can see, I am wearing sunglasses, which I don't normally wear. So I had one, I'm pleased with my one I had. Um, so yeah, the gun's the gun to my right, I had a couple. Um, but if I was going to use the sun as an excuse, they came off the lip and you lose them for about a second in the sun, even with sunglasses, and then you've got to pick them up again at about 11 o'clock. Yeah. That would be the excuse that I would never, of course, use. Anyway, so <laughs> moving on to the next drive. <laughs> <laughs> Dad. Well, that was uh, some incredible birds presented there. I mean, you can see the topography that we were just in. I mean, it's just dream, dreamland, really. I mean, this ridge here, the beat, beat brought it right around. I mean, I was just saying, the beat really earned their crib here. Um, but yeah, someone was shooting very well in the middle. We were peg one there, so we were slight, slightly on the end of it. But yeah, I still had some very nice birds to shoot that. Again, I won't make the excuse of the sun, but the one real nice one I had flew straight into the sun, so I just literally just guessed. <laughs> and anyway, of course, the outcome was it went on. But yeah, I mean, we're really in some incredible ground here, and I don't know, it's a serious part of shooting, that's for sure. Very, very impressive. So I'm um, looking forward to the next one, where I'm peg four, so um, hopefully I'll be able to get my eye on a bit, bit, bit more. So, But yeah, so far, the um, cartridge we're using, the VIP game, uh, elite in 32 gram fives. I mean, some people say there's a bit too much partridges, but when you come and see these birds, trust me, that's what you need. Pretty impressed with um, how they're performing on these very testing partridges. Ollie is still struggling to find the lead on these birds, but his dad is bang on form. Oh, dad, hello. Woken up, have you? It was him, both barrels. Well, is it too good for me at the moment? Sorry, mate, not doing this justice at the moment. You see how high that is. I mean, even ones that drop 50% are still exceptionally good birds. Well, that was a hell of a drive. I'm not sure I did any justice. I shot like an absolute drain. But then again... you weren't that good. On to the next drive and the banter continues. Here, Dad, this one for you here. 
Pretty high for you. Oh, I must have been in front of that. I must. How the hell did I miss that? <laughs> nah, this is my drive. I'm starting to warm up now. Ollie is going into the final drive feeling confident. He's near the end of the line with his father on the next peg to his left. James, I hope you're getting this because look at this. Wow, look at these, look at these. I finally, dare I say it, after four drives, <laughs> found my mark a bit. So I'm a bit happy. I had, a, even though I say so myself, a quite a nice one over my head. And then I've just seemed to have slightly found my, my lead. And, and that is the biggest battle with these, with these, with these really quite high, extreme partridges is, is finding your lead. Um, which is one thing that I've been struggling with all day. And now we've got, you know, this beautiful environment here we're in and I've just, I've just managed to get the line, get the lead and luckily, hopefully, fingers crossed, I can bring a few more down. So, miss it. Dad! <laughs> Die, wife! <laughs> got there in the end. Die, wife! Well, that was incredible. Finally, I've managed to find my mark and actually hit some because I wasn't actually doing very well in the first few drives. But uh, yeah, I mean, they were coming off that, as you saw, they were coming off that, that glen there and just curling over the line. I mean, way up. Sun's out, there's a little bit of wind, but they weren't bothered by the conditions. They were just, and they were coming along the top of there where I was told I could shoot. So, I mean, they were, Obviously quite close to them, but they were, I was told I could shoot up there. And then, uh, yeah, I found my mark on those and then I had a couple of what I call cool, because I really enjoyed one, a couple over my head. Um, annoyingly, my father shot very well next to me <laughs> to the point where I was mounting, mounting, and literally was caught almost short. <laughs> okay, yours <laughs> happened about three times in one flush. Um, but yeah, that was what John and what John's created here is incredible. I mean, Phil was saying, my lady was saying that someone came here last year, fired a slab of cartridges and shot no birds, um, which is remarkable. I mean, I'd probably never shoot again if that happened to me, but it's just truly a, a magical place to shoot. And yeah, it's, it's certainly in my book earned its reputation as being one of the um, serious high bird shoots in the country. For more about Ely cartridges, go to elyhawklimited.com. You can follow the shoot on Instagram, link below.